cliff now overlooking the cove. The tower will be the last bit illuminated. <laughs> Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm at Calachaco in Via Hayosa, and I haven't been here, I looked it up before I came out, I haven't been here for about five months. This is a, a bay or a, a section of coast which is kind of rocky and pebbly. Probably one of the most distinctive features is over there behind me. There's one of the old um, 16th century watchtowers sitting up on quite a steep cliff and I've done several images from here I've done images taken right up close to the to the tower and the cliff I've done images taken right down at the other end of the kind of bay down there and today I thought I'd come up here and just see if I can come up with something a bit different possibility number one is to see if I can get right up on the top of that kind of cliff headland over there and get a view right the way along but with a high vantage point. Possibility number two is to go completely the opposite way and go along the cliff path kind of behind the tower and along there. Now the first option will mean I'm shooting towards the sunset, the second option will mean I'm shooting pretty much away from the sunset. So my first step is to see if I can find a way to get up onto that cliff top over there and just see if there's a view worth having. I don't know if there is or not but if I don't go and look I won't know. <laughs> So it's actually pretty windy today, although at the minute I'm completely sheltered from it. The wind's coming from inland, but because of the high hills and cliffs around here, the sea's not getting kind of stirred up by it, so we've got calm seas. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with the sky. There's a few clouds around, and the forecast is for that to increase around sunset. But whether it does or not, I don't know. Too early to tell. Okay, so the first attempt to get around and onto that uh, cliff has failed because uh, what I thought was a route through is actually the entrance into a house. <laughs> so I'm now trying another path and we'll see if that one works. Interesting. Uh, Ruined building, abandoned building there. Did wonder if that might make for an interesting composition when I was approaching from the distance, but it's not really speaking to me. So I shall carry on and try and find where I was going to. Okay, I'm on the cliff now overlooking the cove uh, with a view out to the tower and beyond. It's a beautiful view but somehow the composition just doesn't feel right to me. I think it's probably because the tower there is kind of overlapping with the hill in the background. And I can't see any way to avoid that from here. 
it's really windy on this spot so I'm gonna move somewhere else I'm actually gonna go further up onto this hill up here and see if that affords a better view okay so I've made it up to the highest point bit of a scramble up here and I've got to be honest it's not doing it for me I mean the view is stunning I've got a view out across uh, Kalachako which is the, the the cove and the tower then there's the next sort of section of coastline beyond I can see uh, the hill of uh, righteous Yoma which has got another tower on it and then beyond that I've got views right out to Alicante and uh, beyond I suspect I think I can even see sort of right out to Santa Pola so gorgeous views but somehow as an image I just don't feel that it works I think what I'm going to do is head down and see what else I can find okay I thought I'd just get down off that windy cliff top before I uh, explained a little bit more and I've done that now um, the view from up there was beautiful and my the first place that I stopped where I said I didn't think the composition worked because um, the way the tower was the cliff and the tower were kind of overlapping with the more background hill um, I was able to overcome that by moving up to the higher ground but the problem is there's this I don't know if you could see it on the video but there is actually several houses dotted along the edge of that um, cove uh, and although you know they're, they're nice enough looking houses helicopter <laughs> perfect timing although they're nice enough looking houses um, somehow they just didn't go with the overall scene that I was hoping for now if that had been an easy location to get to and more importantly from I might have been tempted to do it anyway just because it might have worked but I knew it was going to be a bit tricky getting down from that uh, cliff top because it was tricky getting up and getting down is often trickier than getting up and uh, particularly if I was doing it post sunset you know with the uh, the light starting to go so it's always worth asking yourself whether it's worth it also it looks like the clouds over in the direction that I was looking are breaking up but there's clouds over in the opposite direction now there's a possibility that they could light up as the sun goes down so it might be that it's better for me to go the other side of the tower which is my one of my options anyway and uh, see if I can find a composition there that will work because I'll have then a more interesting hopefully a more interesting sky to uh, set the image off I shall go and have a look nevertheless I'm glad I actually made it up there eventually because I was beginning to wonder how the hell he got there <laughs> Okay, that was uh, pretty windy along some of those paths. Um, didn't shoot a lot of video simply because I was trying to keep my eye on my footing because I was on sort of cliff edges for some of it. And also just because it was really windy and it was really difficult to, to actually try and, try and make progress with the wind. Well, I've got up onto one of the cliff edges. So I'm on, right on the other side of the tower to where I was earlier. Um, the sea on this side is a lot rougher, there's waves breaking in onto the cliff bottoms uh, which is creating quite a nice scene. There's the sort of rocky bit sticking out over here with the tower on. Uh, unfortunately there's actually a house built on that same thing just below the tower which is a little bit of a distraction but it's not too bad. So I definitely think it's worth hanging on here. We've still got about 30 minutes until official sunset, but the sun's already gone behind that hill over there. 
but there's still light out on the, the tower and the little peninsula with the tower on. And I've put in a two-stop soft-edged ND grad to darken the sky and a circular polarizer. Not because I really need the polarizer, but it's just giving me about two stops um, longer exposure time. And ISO on the low one setting, about one second because the clouds are almost gone. There's going to be no interest there once the light disappears off the tower. The tower will be the last bit illuminated. So I'm going to hang around and do a shot then because that might be the optimum time. Yeah, so right now the only thing with light left on it is the top of the tower. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have and you want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. Likes and shares are always very much appreciated and I'd love to hear from you, so comments down below. And that's it. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thank you very much and until the next video. Bye.